Today on Variant, we're counting down the 10 best Hulk fights. Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than my producer loves Plucker's Chicken Wings. I'm your host, Aris Quinones. Everyone knows that the Hulk is the strongest there is, and today we're going to count down our list of the J Giant's 10 greatest fights. Due to the Hulk's general temperament, there are plenty of amazing fights to choose from, so let's not waste any time and kick this off from the top. At number 10 is Hulk vs. Abomination in Incredible Hulk issue 25. These two have gone toe to toe several times in the comics, cartoons, and even a live action movie. But during this gruesome confrontation, the two trade punches nearly drown each other and even destroy a dam in a fight that nearly lasts the entire issue. In the end, both their faces are bloody, but the Hulk finishes it by literally almost bashing Abomination's brain in. Banner manages to get control and stop just short of killing him, but with Hulk slash Banner pretty jacked up himself, it was definitely a fight to remember. Landing at number 9 is Hulk vs Hulkbuster in World War Hulk Issue 1. We have talked about this fight several times on this show, and most of us have seen it played out in Avengers Age of Ultron. But no matter where you've seen it, it's always freaking amazing. Hulk has battled different versions of Iron Man's Hulkbuster armor a few times in the comics, but none have been more destructive than this confrontation on the streets of New York. Every punch exchanged between the two of them shattered windows and whole buildings were brought down. So Marvel, if you're listening, I'll take another one of those, please and thank you. Number 8 on our list is Hulk vs Red Hulk in 2008's Hulk issue 24. This battle is awesome for one main reason, it's two Hulks beating the crap out of each other. Who doesn't want to see that? Both Hulk and Red Hulk set out to prove that they're the strongest, leading to a brawl of epic proportions. The two take turns pummeling each other and throwing each other through buildings. And Red Hulk thinks he has Hulk beat after unleashing his rage in one explosive double fisted punch, but the Hulk reemerges from a smoking crater saying, that's all you got? The Hulk then settles the debate over who is strongest by using his thunderclap to launch Red Hulk down the National Mall and through the Lincoln Memorial, rendering Red Hulk nearly unconscious. Honestly, I can only hope to be that cool when I grow up. Coming in at number 7 is the Hulk vs Thing in Fantastic Four issues 25 and 26. That's right, this classic fight goes on for nearly two full issues, destroying a good portion of Manhattan, including the George Washington Bridge in the process, creating chaos all along the way. While Thing held his own against the Hulk as long as he could, the Hulk was ultimately just too strong, eventually requiring the rest of the Fantastic Four and the Avengers to step in to stop the Raging Hulk. This was not only one of the Hulk's best fights, it was also one of the earliest demonstrations of his true destructive capabilities. As comic fans, sometimes there's nothing better than a good old slugfest, and with this fight, Stanley and Jack Kirby gave us just that. Coming in at number 6 is Hulk vs Sentry in World War Hulk issue 5. One thing you'll probably notice is that several of the fights on this list were written by Greg Pak. That's because he's one of the best all time Hulk writers. Not to mention the conflicts he places the Hulk in are compelling, brutal, and incredibly fun. And this fight is no exception. Just hearing the words Hulk vs Sentry make you realize that it's something that you never knew you always wanted. In the issue, Sentry is deployed as a means of a last resort to stop the enraged Hulk from destroying the world. The two then trade blows with the force of a million exploding suns until they ultimately revert back to their human forms, Bruce Banner and Robert Reynolds. It's just freaking glorious and definitely something you need to check out with your own viewing holes. At number 5 is Hulk vs Thor in Thor issue 385. This one is another classic, with Hulk going a bit savage and tearing stuff up before Thor shows up to put a stop to it. After the fight causes some mass destruction, Thor starts to get the upper hand causing Hulk to take drastic action by threatening the life of an innocent woman to force Thor to ditch Mjolnir and fight him man to man. Or I guess demigod to beast, but you guys know what I'm saying. Thor complies and then throws his hammer as far away as he can, then faces the Jade Giant head on. He even manages to hold his own for a while, but the Hulk quickly makes his point by giving the hammerless Thor a beating. Ultimately, Thor calls Mjolnir in order to save himself but the Hulk is satisfied that he's won and leaves. This of course wasn't the first time these two have squared off, but it stands out because it proves that Mjolnir is the only thing standing between Thor and a serious Hulk beatdown. 
crashing down at number four is none other than Hulk vs. Superman in Incredible Hulk vs. Superman. Not much needs to be said about this one, as the battle between these two titans has been debated amongst comic fans for a very, very long time. But in 1999, Marvel and DC joined forces for a one-shot crossover special to give their take on the fight. Not surprisingly, the issue delivers a pretty fun clash between the Hulk and the Man of Steel, with the Hulk literally throwing Superman into orbit at one point, and Superman punching Hulk through a mountain in another. While Superman is definitely shown to be able to defeat the Hulk and they settle their differences in the end, it's an incredibly fun matchup either way, and I know I wouldn't mind a rematch. Anyway, that leads us to our big three, but before we move on, I want to thank today's sponsor, Dollar Shave club. If you have a face with hair on it, shaving is a part of your life, and shaving requires a good razor. Thankfully, right now, you can go to dollarshaveclub.com forward slash variant to get a one month trial of any one of their razors for just a dollar. But they've got a bunch of other great products as well, like shave butter, body bars, and lots more. So get a great shave and keep money in your pocket. Just go to dollarshaveclub.com forward slash variant and check them out for yourself. Leading off our top three is Hulk vs. Red King in the Incredible Hulk issue 102, during the Planet Hulk storyline. This showdown was built up over many issues after the Hulk was booted from Earth by the Illuminati, only to land on planet Sakaar and lead the insurrection against its ruler, the Red King. And when the confrontation finally comes, the Hulk faces an angry Red King wearing a powerful mech suit. But the Hulk is far too determined to be defeated and breaks the Red King's suit into pieces. As a last resort, the Red King unleashes a weapon that cracks the planet's plates, and the planet begins to crumble. So an enraged Hulk jumps into the core of the planet and literally pulls the plates back together, fixing the world. Because the Hulk. He then finishes off the Red King and ascends to the throne as the King of Sakaar. Freaking King Hulk, my friends. That's just about as much awesome as you can put in one story. Our number two pick demonstrates that even the Hulk has physical limits, but also that he has giant balls made of adamantium. Figuratively speaking, of course. That would be Hulk vs. Zeus in The Incredible Hulk, issue 622. That's right, Hulk challenged and even insulted Zeus into fighting him one on one. And when Zeus agreed, the Hulk wasted no time hitting Zeus with both fists, knocking him through massive columns of Olympus. This obviously pissed Zeus off pretty good, and the Hulk stood little to no chance after that. In fact, if it weren't for a little help from Hercules, the Hulk would have been left chained to a mountain, having his flesh eaten by giant vultures. But the fact that this Joker walked into Olympus looking for a fight against Zeus, King of the gods makes this one of the coolest and best fights the Hulk has ever gotten himself into. Taking the top spot at number one is the Hulk versus everyone. In The Incredible Hulk issue 300 in 1962, an absolutely out of his mind Hulk is on a rampage through New York and every hero in the Marvel Universe at the time shows up to stop him. I'm talking about Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, Daredevil, S.H.I.E.L.D., Iron Fist, Power Man, and the Avengers, including Thor and Vision. The Hulk takes everything they throw at him and just keeps going. In the end, the only way they manage to stop the Hulk at all is by having Doctor Strange open a portal and send him into another dimension. There have been few moments in the Hulk's comic book history that similarly displayed just how formidable the Hulk actually is making this the best Hulk fight of all time. A few honorable mentions before I wrap things up would be Hulk vs. Wolverine, take your pick, Hulk vs. Hercules in Tales to Astonish issue 79, Hulk vs. Silver Surfer in The Incredible Hulk 95, and Hulk vs. Juggernaut in Marvel's Adventures, The Hulk issue 10. First up for Wednesday, June 7th is Batman issue 24. After the events in the Button series, Batman knows that war is coming to Gotham City, and he's preparing for the coming storm by making a proposition to one of his enemies that will change everything for the Dark Knight. Next on our list is Darth Vader issue number one. The most feared Sith of all time is back in an all new series written by Charles Soule that picks up after the events of episode three, Revenge of the Sith. And having lost everything important to him, the former Jedi once known as Anakin Skywalker must now take his first steps into a darker world as Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith. And finally, we have Superman issue 24, part five of the Black Dawn story. An emerging new ability for Superboy proves deadly to Superman as the promise of power appears to lead John Kent to betray his father. And the Man of Steel must now face the one enemy he refuses to fight, his son. And that's gonna bring another episode of Variant to a close. But remember, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe and then hit the bell next to it so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. But as always, remember you can like the Variant Facebook page to keep up with the show and all things comic related. You can also follow Variant on Twitter at Variant Comics or me on Twitter at Aris underscore Quinones. But I'll see you guys next week when I talk about all things comics.